Hey guys, this is Arna from uh, Coding Blocks, and uh, after uh, quite some time, I am uh, going to be covering a uh, topic on mobile development. I'm going to talk about native Android development today. Uh, so I've been working on a lot of web apps, but uh, so I've got some time working with Android development back again. So uh, you might have seen in my last video series, I had covered how to build uh, both Thingsters real world uh, project using um, Vue.js. Now this is a very interesting project is that it's it, the reason it's called real world is because it's not just a very simple API where you go and make a to-do list, it's an actual live API. There's a website which is a clone of uh, the Medium website, it's called Conduit and you can actually uh, go and uh, visit the demo website and uh, it has like all like it has got a your feed functionality a global feed functionality uh, you can see like articles written by other people and you know we can favorite an article we can follow a user so all of that functionality is there and um, uh, like the, you, you have got users uh, sign in and uh, you know we can uh, sign out if i want to and uh, we can create new users so there's an api that exists out there and uh, there are like a lot of versions of this so different people have built the exact same app using the exact same api using different uh, front end frameworks so people have built it using react and angular and elm and Vue. so if you look at the react app and say the angular one and i go to the like demo page uh, and i go to the demo page here uh, so you're gonna see the exact same app uh, so this is the react uh, app using uh, you know uh the same api is the angular app using the same api you get the same feed you get the uh you know you can do sign in you can sign in using the same username at both places uh yeah there we go so uh yeah and you can do the same thing here because uh, it's the same api so people are able to build uh, the same app uh in multiple places so uh, should work yeah okay uh, so yeah I'm basically giving you the feel of that now uh, a lot of people have done the same API using different backends as well uh, the interesting thing is like there are not a lot of mobile implementations people have not tried building this in mobile and the only person who has built it in mobile is somebody who has built it using native script or native script is a hybrid mobile development framework which allows you to build native apps using JavaScript for iOS and Android but nobody has built it uh, using uh, native uh, Android development uh, technologies like Kotlin or Java. So in this video series, what we're going to do is we're going to try and build the um, native script Android app using the same API on uh, Kotlin, using Kotlin. So uh, uh, the, the native script uh, app that somebody's built, uh, it's available on uh, Play Store. So, you know, I just, you know, got this one on, from Play Store, uh, you know, yeah. And uh, it's on my emulator right now. So it, it uh, looks like this, uh, like there's this list of articles and, you know, we can log in. Uh, so if I try to log in there. So yeah, we're logged in. When you're logged in, uh, you can see uh, your feed and you can see the global feed and we can, you know, uh, go to settings and uh, change stuff uh, up, out here. And we have got uh, our logout and about, so all that. So I think we'll try to build an app which looks uh, close to this, uh, uh, of course, using material design uh, patterns and everything and uh the resources that we'll need to build uh, of course we have got like the api spec out here which tells us like um what are the objects this is how uh the you know the user object looks like this is how the profile object looks like this is how each article uh, looks like and uh, so on uh, let me just make the screen a little bigger uh yeah So 
yeah, I mean, uh, this, this API is completely documented. Uh, there are uh, endpoints like API slash user slash login. Is post API slash users to sign up a new user. This is how we uh, get uh, all the articles. Uh, you know, we can filter them by tags and all of that stuff. So a complete document API is present uh, in front of us, and uh, we would be uh, making extensive use of uh, Android Jetpack, uh, which uh, consists of a lot of support libraries for Android. So uh, it's like all the Android X packages. So we'll be using, uh, of course, uh, App Compat and we'll be using room uh, to create our database and save data locally because you know we don't want to fetch the same database uh, the same articles from the server over and over again and i guess we'll use uh, live data and uh, life cycles also maybe uh, we'll take a look, we'll look i don't know really i mean i've been i'm just getting back into android development after some time i haven't uh, made use of jetpack uh, extensively till now uh, it's like uh, all the old Android support libraries bundled together into Android X. So, you know, we'll just see how it goes. Uh, uh, so uh, let's just get on with that. In the next video, we'll just see the setting of the project and then, you know, going ahead, creating the different screens and all of that. Okay, uh, so I guess uh, stay tuned for the next few videos that are coming in this series.